Good morning, everyone. I think it's almost 8 o'clock. My chicken yard is flooded. My owl fell down. Well, it slid down. But I can't open the, the little chicken door today. So I've had to... had to leave open the human door which I'm not liking because I think it's too much of a breeze coming in here for my babies um, I have to leave to go to CVS they never had my antibiotic ready the other day but they do this morning so I need to go and get that when I come back I need to figure out something where I can just keep this door open enough that um, the chickens that want to come out can come out. Maybe like a bungee cord. I don't know. Um, hmm. I'm thinking now put this cinder block behind the door. They'll know that there's water here. Let me try to do that real quick because I'll be worrying about those peeps getting cold. I mean, they're under those. They go under the two hens, but yeah, that that's better. It's supposed to get up into the 60s today, but right now it's... 45 or 48 with the breeze after that storm let me tell you we got a storm there's their food there's no way I can get to that um, we had there was a line of straight winds I'll have to fix my owl again. That came through the Dallas-Fort Worth area yesterday, starting around 2.30 is when they noticed it and started tracking it. Some places got over 100 mile winds. Uh-oh. Oh, let's see. Let's go back over there. It fell, so that's not going to work. Mm hmm That is not gonna work. Um, <clears throat> the sirens were going off yesterday, the tornado sirens, because they, they consider straight winds when they're that strong. They consider that it's some kind of tornado category. I forget which. Okay, I gotta figure this out. And, um, so the sirens were going off. Like that. <laughs> like that siren. Alright. Help me, Lord, to lift this. I can only use one arm. Mm. I can kind of drag it a little bit and uh in one part Decatur Texas I'm not sure where that is but uh there was baseball size hail and in another part I think down in Fort Worth or down in Dallas um the roof of a fire station was blown off and and the roof of an Amazon company was blown off. <laughs> hey, Lady Jane. Someone commented about Lady Jane in that picture I posted of her sitting on my steps. I think it was that one. Or when I was trying to clean the coop and the camera fell and Lady Jane was behind it. They commented <laughs> saying that that she cracks them up. She always has to be wherever I am. 
Okay, that's better. They can get in there and they can get out and it blocks the draft. Oh, that sun is nice. And let's see. I'll put the water here. Okay. I changed that water and gave them a little bit more supplement. But they got water over here too. Uh, so in my town, as far as I know, there was no damage. I mean, there might have been some tree limbs down in places. There's their other water. But we never lost power. Oh, my jeans got real muddy. I have mud boots in my lean-to somewhere. But um, I'll tell you, yesterday, you know, I had done some yard work the day before yesterday. Then I did some yard work yesterday before I did the video of cleaning the coop. Then I cleaned the coop, which didn't take long, but I squatted down a few times to talk to you in the video. And then I did some yard work after that. And, um, make sure I lock my door. And by the evening, oh, my spinal cord was angry. It was in spasms which triggered off that sciatic nerve. Oh, I was in bad shape. I didn't used to, it didn't used to be uh, so bad. You know, that was not a whole lot of work that I did, I don't think. Let's get in here. I don't think it was a whole lot of work that I did. Um, and I, uh-oh. Look what I just saw. Oh, the property fence. Here I am saying there's no damage. You know what? I'm going to have to let you go and call the landlord. Um, of course, this happened right behind. Oh, right behind my trailer. Well, he'll be glad in one way because... You know, he has insurance. All right, I'll talk to everyone later.